For Russia, it's a taste of their own medicine. For the past two winters, the Kremlin has targeted Ukraine's civilian energy infrastructure, using ballistic missiles like the Iskander to hit power stations, gas supplies and electricity networks. The World Bank says over half of Ukraine's power infrastructure has been damaged. The cost of repair, an estimated nine and a half billion pounds. But lately, Ukraine has started turning the tables, using small drones to hit Russian oil terminals, power stations and factories. Russia has the world's largest natural gas reserves and is the second largest oil exporter on the planet, using an intricate network of pipelines to supply Europe. Exports have fallen sharply since the start of the war. Last year, revenues fell by 26%, but Russia still earned just over £63 billion from its oil and gas. In January, Ukraine, possibly aided by partisans, launched a series of attacks across Russia. On January 19th, they used drones to set four oil tanks on fire at a depot at Klinsy. A day later, the target was a factory at Tula, 120 miles south of Moscow, which assembles air defence systems. On January 21st, they struck again, this time using kamikaze drones to hit the Usluga fuel terminal 20 miles from the Estonian border. The damage was extensive, with each day it's out of action, costing $2 million in lost revenue. On the same day at Vyborg, near Russia's border with Finland, there was a mysterious explosion, possibly the work of Russian partisans. And two days later, there were explosions and fires at two electrical substations in the Pacific port city of Vladivostok. On January 24th, the target was an oil terminal at Krasnodar near the Black Sea. Production stopped at the facility, which normally produces 186,000 barrels of crude a day. Then, five days later, another reported explosion at an electrical substation in Chelyabinsk. This, too, may have been anti-Putin partisans. So what effect is this having? An attack last month on one of Russia's biggest refineries sent the price of gasoline soaring. Reports say the Kremlin considered imposing an export ban because of fears there'd be fuel shortages inside Russia. The Kremlin's budget is heavily dependent on oil and gas exports. It's the primary source of foreign income. Money Vladimir Putin desperately needs for his so-called special military operation. The risk of drone strikes is also raising insurance costs for tankers calling at Russian ports. And of course there's the effect on Russian military operations. Strikes on oil depots and storage facilities disrupt logistics and hamper the flow of fuel to the Russian military. This month, Ukraine has carried out more attacks, this time against an oil refinery in Volgograd, 400 miles from the Ukrainian border. Kyiv showing again that it can use small, cheap drones to hit the industry paying for Vladimir Putin's war. Simon Newton, Forces News. Thanks for watching. For more from Forces News, like and subscribe to our channel.